What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to punish every single rage art in the game. I went ahead and did all the legwork, went into training mode, recorded all the rage arts, and practiced punishing them. So first we're going to start off with the easy ones. The vast majority of characters in the game, with just a handful of exceptions, the rage arts hit mid and they're unsafe on block. So it means you have to block it standing, but once you do, uh, you should be able to get a full punish. So what I'm doing with Leo here is up forward 4, which is a 15 frame launcher that you can do a full combo afterward. So most characters are going to have a 15 frame launcher or something similar that you can use to punish all these rage arts. Uh, but if not, you know, you can go into training mode and find out for yourself what's your character's best option to punish in these situations. So I'll go ahead and put a list down in the description of where every character fits in, whether they're one of these easy ones to punish or whether they're one of the exceptions that I'm going to show in a second. So like I said, for the vast majority of characters, all you got to do is stand block it and then take your free damage afterward. So this will be Yoshi is the last one that is an easy punish. Now we'll talk about some of the exceptions. So Heihachi and Jack, both of their supers push you back on blocks, so they're going to be a little bit harder to punish. You're going to have to find something that's a little bit longer range. Uh, or in the case of Jack, I think it's easier to just take a small step forward and then do your punish uh, to get in range and make it hit. So these guys are still not that hard to punish. The next exception is Lucky Chloe, who has the only rage art that hits low. But all you got to do is crouch block it, and that's a free punish. Next up, there's three characters whose rage arts seem like they're really safe on block, but actually they hit high, which means you have to duck them and punish. So Steve, Jin, and Elisa. Elisa's is kind of tough. You have to crouch for longer than you would expect, but you should still be able to just duck under it and punish. Next up is Swarong, who actually has the only completely safe rage art in the game. Try as you may, you'll never be able to punish this on block. Uh, the only possible way you can get around it is if you do a really preemptive sidestep, but it's really hard and you have to like kind of be doing the sidestep before the screen freezes for the super. So I would say just block it. The reason that it's balanced for him to have a safe rage art is because he can't do it by itself. He can only do it if he's already in the flamingo stance. So that means he can't really just armor through moves with rage art whenever he wants like the other characters in the game can. Last but certainly not least, we have Akuma, whose Rage Art is completely unblockable, which you've probably figured out by now, so obviously you can't block and punish it. Uh, what you're going to have to do is jump out of it. Uh, so you can do a jumping normal, which usually you can't get much damage off of, or you can jump and then land and do a while standing normal as soon as you land, and that way you should probably be able to get some pretty good damage. So that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.